power. That's amazing. I love that part of the song, but I feel like you almost never are going to hear that because it's so late into the uh, lap two theme. Uh, welcome to the stream, everybody. More poos. P, P noise. Poos. Uh, is it from... Th Somebody said turtle power. That's not sampled from some kind of fucking Ninja Turtles thing, is it? That'd be wild. Uh, so we got some lovely art here. Very cool, very cute from uh, Jacob the Claude, who is a self-confessed Claude. I am not insulting them. Uh, I very, very much enjoy particularly the real hand and gun, which actually took... I downloaded this image before I realized that it was a real hand and real gun. Uh... <clears throat> uh, let's let's get right into the game. I'm I'm addicted. I'm back on the pizza tower train. Uh, one moment, por favor. You guys are never gonna get to see the loading bar of this game. The, the capture never it never picks up on it quick enough. All right. I'm eager, I'm an eager beaver to do more. Let's just slap right back in there. Okay. Uh, do you think, should I swap out of my, my noise TV outfit? Somebody last stream was saying I should do the checkered one, and I kind of agree with them. The checkered one looks cool. Yeah. Okay, so this floor is all done. All P-Ranks. Oh, the game's, like, really loud, isn't it? <laughs> uh, how are you guys feeling about the audio? I just turned it down. Nobody actually said it was loud, but it looked very loud on my little readout there. So, I was doing Fun Farm last time, and I kind of feel the need to, uh, address that. Sounds good now, it was loud before. I, uh, yeah, hopefully this is good. I want to be- I, I want you guys to be able to hear the music nice and good. Because that's a, a big part of this game. <laughs> oh god. I'm playing like a weirdo. So I had an epiphany, by the way, thinking about that one room that kept fucking me over when I was doing this last time. Which is that I should just, when in doubt, just super taunt. When there's like a fuck ton of enemies on screen, especially that one that's normally unkillable. Just super taunt them. Ugh. That one, it's a little tricky to get that thing at the end. It's just a little precise. And I find that sometimes with that one, if I just go with my, like, gut instinct, it usually works out of, like, when to turn around, but sometimes it can be a little finicky. By the way, off stream, I tried to do, just out of curiosity to see if I could do it, I tried to do a, uh... John Gutter P rank with uh, no toppins, and it did not work out. Uh, even with what I kind of felt like was basically a perfect run, I was still like a thousand points short at the end. So, if anyone would like to try to do that, it seems like it may be with like absolutely fucking perfect playing might be possible, but it seems very difficult. Oh god. Oh god, that might actually be the end of me? No. I, I theorized that potentially, and maybe on a level that isn't John Gutter, you could potentially get enough score to uh, P-rank with no toppings, but they just give you so many points that it's... Uh, 
pretty tricky trying to skip all of them at once. Oh god. Okay, this is the trouble room. That was giving me so much trouble last time. We're just gonna run through all this and super taunt. Didn't actually kill all the ones up above. But it did get me through there without dying. You know what? <laughs> That's a bad idea. Chicken! Chicken! Kill. Oh god. I was kind of trying to kill the eggplant, but you're you're sort of at the mercy of the uh, auto-aim here. Okay, here's the real scary one. It's a good thing uh, Noise's Mort power-up is kind of OP. Okay, let's kill. Here, I think, literally just super jump up. And then do Crusher. Okay, am I, uh, am I good so far? I... Something... I maybe think that I've missed something, but I don't know. Honestly. Okay. Oh, I've not been very efficient, have I? Let's grab those points. Might not end up mattering. Nice. That's just free score, baby. Okay, here's a Mort part. Mort part. Let's go! Okay, so here, like a dumbass last time, I was kicking myself for this all last night. I couldn't sleep. Couldn't get a wink of sleep because I was so embarrassed. Uh, I came in here and tried to do the stupid fucking speedrun strat of like, Oh, I gotta intentionally get hit! No, that, th that does nothing here. I'm trying to get the score, not go fast. Like, I am trying to go fast, but not like that fast. Stupid. Stupid, stupid man. Penis. Get out of my way, you goons. I'm gonna grab all of you by the ghoulies, and there's nothing you can do about it. That sounds- that's basically sexual assault, actually, and I think maybe that's... Let's just end it there. Let's just end it there. Okay, this is the furthest we've got on this level so far. I feel the S slash P is, uh, incoming. Yahoo! Beep! Oh, piss. Wow. I really suck, don't I? Good thing I left those there. Little snack. Left a little snack for later. It's so embarrassing when you get in that, like, <laughs> chain of swerving back and forth. Like, how fucking- how humiliating. Okay, do not intentionally get hit here like a dumbass. Although time kinda is of the essence here, uh... I may have dallied a bit. I think we're- we're probably actually good, though. This is another level where the last part of it is just a straight shot. So even if his a face does show up, uh, it's not the end of the world. I don't think you'll even have time. One, two, three, baby. Cool. Oh, that's so satisfying, because I was kicking myself for fucking up that stage so much last night. Oh. Okay. Uh, let's go do Waste Yard. <clears throat> yeah! I love that screaming one. Still not the biggest fan of those intro arts, but I won't go on about it. Should just drill through that whole part. Whee! Uh, this is not exactly an easy level to, uh, P-rank. 
so I'm just gonna try my best. Might be here a while though, depending on how uh, much I get my shit together. Oh my god! Which is to say, none, none shit. Oh god, just get the thing that's in here. Please! Oh, I didn't realize that's a metal block. I thought I could just spin right through that. That is one of them, one of them ones you need to be running in order to uh, get through. Yeah, this level's no joke. Damn it. I always want to kill the last one, because, like, the... I normally just run right through there, because it's, like, one of the easiest secrets if you do that, but... There's always one that gets left behind, and I'm always like, ah, survivors. Not on my watch! Okay, I don't care about going back for that other guy. And obviously another banger. Jimmy really banged out a good tune on this one. That's right, Mr. Beast. I don't think- do those ghost blocks actually, like, give you points on their own, or is it just the fact that there's stuff hidden inside them? Shit. Okay. Gotta remember the actual order to do this part in. You gotta, like, loop around, basically. Go here. Get into the squeak crit. Oh, that's uh, kind of tight window there. Whatever. I was trying so hard to kill those guys that whole time, but it just didn't work out. Okay. Now, I just go back through here, and get the munchies. Oh, the munchies! <laughs> uh, this is where the treasure is. Oh, yes. Okay. Uh... Am I missing things? I've only got three toppins. But I think the- are the other toppins just on the way out? I mean, it, we've exhaustively established that you don't need all the toppins, but... You see that save there, by the way? That was, uh, pretty cool. Hello there! wave dashing on these fools. Am I, uh... I'm good at... Let's go! Let's go! Because there's one secret on the way out. I remember that. There's a toppin right there. Shit, that's the end for me, folks. Oh! 
Sweet baby Jesus. There's the other one. God damn. Oh no. Uh <laughs> Ghost room, the detested ghost room. The hated ghost room. Wasted so much time. Uh. Oh, I think I gotta get the secret on lap two. I remember now where the secret is. Oh god. I gotta get it on lap two. It's coming up here. Yeah, it's like, oh no, please. Ooh. Okay. Please. Okay, uh, now I just gotta fucking run like the Dickens, man. That's, uh... I'm also not actually at an S rank score yet. Not looking too good. You know, I think we'll be able to get enough random crap if I just don't get touched by this stupid fucking ghost, which is, like, a tall order. I may very well get touched. Oh. Beep! Buh. I didn't even need to get that. And that's it, folks. God damn it. I didn't need to get the thing because the block wasn't there. I also had four seconds left. That's crushing. But I don't feel too bad. Gotta remember on that last one that uh, the since the ghost block that you destroy there stays dead. That's what really fucked with me there. Because I went up to go get the, like, level 3 ghost pepper or whatever. And, uh... Fuck you! No! <laughs> I wanted to kill him so bad. I didn't- I didn't realize it wouldn't- that it would stay broken. That was quite the run. Many narrow escapes. Mm -hmm. Nice. Cool, whatever. And it was like super close on points too. <laughs> Fuck you. This is not a level that uh, really feels like there's a lot of opportunities to use the super taunt. Just something that's coming to mind while playing it. Especially because a lot of it is spent being this dinky little ghost. Whatever. I mean, when you have the knowledge that the ghost blocks stay dead, it's useful intel. It makes it easier.
That just somehow didn't come up when I uh, did this as Peppino, because I don't remember that being an issue. Yeah. This whole part's kind of sketchy in terms of keeping your combo. be a guy there, please. I think there was a guy there, but I just didn't end up needing him. These little chicken enemies have a tendency to jump right over your attacks in a kind of annoying way. Okay. Yeah. What's happening? I love how there's a fucking bitey mushroom that turns you into a ghost hidden inside that John Pillar. I'm pretty sure. Oh god, chicken. Whatever. It's fine. Okay, don't forget to get the actual thing here. That was like infinitely smoother than last time I did that, holy shit. Love that improvement feeling. Ah. Bring the noise. Nope. I really tried. I really tried. I really tried! Oh no. Okay, good thing that guy was there. He may have saved the day. Always a little bit of awkwardness at this part. Shit. I was really hoping the chicken would be, like, in that corner of the screen, you know? Always a little bit- I, I need to not so- I'm, like, drilling down there to overzealously. And, you know, that one toppin, I could just grab it right at the beginning of the fucking level, too. Let's just get that so it can be smoother later on. And I get a little bit of score that I would have otherwise probably missed inside those blocks there. I will kill. I will kill all the chickens. Yes! <laughs> That's a pretty smooth way to do that. Do that. Simple as. You. Mm, chicken. Okay. Guys, I can't stop thinking about Mother 3. <laughs> I know this is probably a common syndrome among Mother 3 players. I just can't stop thinking about it. I need to do a review stream so that I can have, like, a, a spoilerful discussion of it. Because there's really, when I, like, when I went into that and I, like, had sort of heard people, people really bad at, like, keeping quiet on spoilers about that game, frankly. But, like, there's really a lot more to spoil than just the stuff that gets, like, commonly spoiled. 
You know, like, if if you've played the game, you know, the, a couple of things that you might consider, like, the big ones, you know? But, uh... There's a lot of really cool elements to that game, I think. Ooh, I'm gonna regret killing that guy, maybe. The way people talk about the game, you would think they only care about, like, that one element of the plot, though. Because there's... Which is kind of a shame, because there's so much else to it. That was a beautifully completed secret. Now I just need to actually... Get out of here quickly. Did I... I'm, I skipped a pepper there. I think I'll be fine. There really is just so much that's cool about it. And I read a really cool interview with uh, Shigesato Itoi as well. Where he talked about a lot of the things in the game. And sort of clarified a couple of things that I felt were kind of unclear. Which was really cool. Okay, there, but for the grace of God go I. Wish me luck. I think I've done everything correctly up until this point. In fact, I think I've done quite well. Look how much I'm killing these... these bad boys. God. Always with that bullshit. Always on that bullshit. Look. They jape you in that one just a little bit. They give you a little bit of japes just for fun. It's like in a Rhythm Heaven game when they try to throw you off. With some weird beat. Or some weird visual aspect. Okay, I believe that's all five of the toppings. Okay, let's slow it down just a tiny bit here. Just, just stroll through there, I think. It's really not wasting that much time over my previous strategy of rushing into it and then flailing around like an idiot. I don't know what that achievement is. No clue. Okay, this is the block that fucked me up by not being there on the way back. Killing 20 enemies as the ghost, I see. Makes sense. Kind of figured it was something like that. Hey! Uh. Ooh, shut the fuck up. You gusts sound so ridiculous. Always with the ooh and the ooh. And the soul of my murder. STFU, dude. I'll say it. Since apparently everyone else is too scared. You know what, Ghost John? I hope you double die. I hope someone kills you again, like getting shot with the flower gun in Grim Fandango. Please, man. My score. Alright, baby! 
very nice. Uh, fuck you. Yeah, he gets a he gets a top hat and a teacup. Uh when you're at like 50 plus score or combo, I think. It's like the crazed, it's like the equivalent of Pepino's. He does like a a crazed little dance when he's at a high combo. All right. Let's do this one. This is a great stage. Although somebody said this was like the hardest, one of the hardest for them is the noise. So we'll see if it kicks my ass. He does do the dissing your fly girl dance. That's so true. What does he say? Some junkyard dog is dissing your fly girl. I don't think he says junkyard dog. Don't catch up with the bullet, please. I've had that happen all too many times. Okay. Gangsta. A gangsta's dissing your fly girl. Because he's trying to be like, how do you do, fellow kids? He's trying to be hip. Okay, we gotta remember to come back into this room when the time is right. During the escape sequence, uh, I've totally beefed this. Whatever. I can just get the score and leave. Cock. Damn it. <laughs> Bad. Let's just grab this crap. We'll probably get the, just naturally, the achievements for getting all the cards or all the beer bottles or maybe even both in the uh, process of doing this. Fuck you. Oh, damn it. I was gonna try to wait for the horse and then, like, comically kill the horse. When it, when it wins, but I accidentally crossed the finish line, suffering from success, LMAO. Yay. <laughs> That's a great TV art, too. I never noticed that one. Did I hit that bottle? Not that I really care that much. Uh, jury's out on if I'll do achievements for this. I mean, who knows? I don't know why I felt the need to do that. Totally unnecessary, and it's better to kill the rat for score anyway. It's yet another instance of, Yeah, I'll do the speedrun! And then the speedrun technique actually turns out is not really good for getting score. Let's just super jump up this whole damn thing. Shit. Oh no. Cool. Mm. Kinda want those. Please stop drilling, sir. Mr. Noise, sir, please. You really don't- you really don't want that to happen, too. Just slowly floating helplessly while you're- oh no. This one really fucked with my steez. Oh no. Damn. I'll see if I can cope, but... No. I thought maybe I'd be able to reach that Sausig in time. The secret is, uh, hard. As the noise. Ch 
chicken you get to live. Nice. That feels pretty cool. I don't think I necessarily even need to actually touch that bottle. I could just do the slam move onto that tile, but whatever. Alright. <laughs> nice. Barely made it. Not that that's a really important thing, it's just a bit of score, really. Just a bit of fun, really. Get off. Please! That was out of kind of desperation, because I thought maybe I was going to lose my, uh, score, and now the rat is in the way for the escape. Which might fuck me up, but it's too late now. Kill. Get up here. I love the sound it makes when you mount those things. It does like a little and it, it doesn't even, it's like, what? why is that the sound of like mounting a sausage, right? But it just works. It just simply works. Okay. Oh god, this is... What? <laughs> what? Okay, hold on, I can still win this. <laughs> I don't think there's actually an opening. Wow. I can just chill on top of it, though. <laughs> Whee! Whoa. Is there, like, not a side... There's not a kill box off to the side. Oh shit, I did the wrong thing. Hold on, hold on. So, nope, do the up A. I, wow, I really suck, I really suck. That I'm gonna blame on the fact that it's always different on every fucking controller. He's so far gone. I don't know, is he gonna like loop around or something? I'm gonna find the secret. I'm gonna use the warp whistle. <laughs> this is... this is pointless. Alright, bring the noise back home. Now. <laughs> I, I think I died off the top. Okay. <laughs> uh... Probably should have just practiced that one secret in actuality instead of doing something stupid. Mr. Bottle. Ripperino. Hitting the bottle is cool and based, though. Oh, I'm kind of fucked now, aren't I? Dang. That sucks. <laughs> I 
That is a pretty clean way to kill all those guys. Goddamn. Pretty happy with that uh, order of operations there. Damn it. Uh, I got. There was one time I did like a really cool, slick little hop over that, and it was awesome. But never to happen again, apparently. Really gotta get better at anticipating when I'm going to be using the, uh, super jump. Cause you kinda like slide into place, like you don't just instantly come to a halt when you start to do the super jump. It's the same way as Pepino too, but it's just something you gotta learn. Kill. Just go. Ah. Uh, oh, I've already... I've fucked it up. I was like, oh, I'm, I'm gonna bring the sausage because I'm gonna kill the rat. No. We're just gonna go without it. He just like froze when he touched the ladder. It was funny to me. It was humorous. Okay, let's try this again. And if I fuck it up more, I'll do a practice. That's bad. Okay. Please. You know what? It's fine that I left that rat there. It's fine, it'll be good for keeping my score later because I accidentally grabbed some extra toppins that I shouldn't have. Fuck. Okay. <laughs> it wouldn't have even been a bad thing. Just so much at once. There. Uh, whatever. No cards, no cards. Oh god. That really leaves you hanging for a while. Thank you, rat, for staying there for me. Okay. Haba who? Yeah. Okay, here we gotta go back and get Jerum. <laughs> do those, uh, do the horses count toward combo? Do they, like, reset? I hope they at least reset it, if not extend it, like, make it go. Because there's things that increment it higher, and there's things that, uh, don't. Just kill. I tried so hard to super taunt so many times there, and I was just in the middle of the spin animation for all of them. Okay. Oh, that's bad, actually. Damn. Huh. I guess there's clocks there, so really, like, I should... You should break the rat. Or leave rats there to kill on the way back. But really, the intelligent thing to do is just to bring... Break the rat. I really thought I'd have enough time, even if I stumbled there a little bit. I didn't think it would fuck me over that bad. No worries. Missed a bottle, though. Kinda cringe. Uh, is 
they like gr cringer? Gr cringer. Cringe Greninja. You picking up what I'm putting down here? So I think I might be onto something huge. I think this could be big. Oh, oh, oh. A cheeky little skip. A cheeky freak of the week. down here with the fucking thing. Don't abandon it like an idiot. I'm just so, I was so like, it's speedrun! I'm so speedrun brained. Grab it, please. Hard. See, what's happening there is that I'm, uh, I'm doing the drill, and it's bouncing me over one of the buttons. That is the absolute, that is the killer here. I think I actually literally want to go slower there. Do not drill, slam your face gormlessly into the wall, and just hit the fucking button. You know? Like, literally do that part worse. To survive. Slam your fucking face into the wall like a little cringe baby. That all works, I guess. It was kind of hard to tell for me to tell what was happening there for a while because the, uh... The buttons are universal. They all... It's not like, oh, this one button goes to this one door. They all go to all doors. So when I was approaching that one, I just thought the timer, you know, in my haste, I thought the timer was just, like, really fucking short for one of them, but it was actually just that I didn't press one and I was still going off the remaining time from the previous timer. Now I understand, though. Let's just slow down for a little bit there. I, you know, don't be like one of those drivers who just would rather fucking kill themselves than slow down for one second, you know? It's not a race. Not yet, anyway. Not a literal one, at least. Feels smooth when you do that good. It feels smooth. Do good, good feel. Don't 
that uh, hidden treasure is very sort of cleverly hidden too, I think. The way the sausage just naturally busts open that one block, revealing that there's a secret there. It's a very clever uh, design. Sorry, game design Andy over here. Uh, guys, can we get a game design check? I don't need to pause the game before we get a, until we get a nice game design check on this one, because I'm not sure what I'm dealing with here. And my instinct, I want to say this has lots of game design. Just slam into the fucking wall like a dumbass. There you go. Simple. Whoa. The music like freak out for a second there? What was that? It went like. Maybe I'm just imagining things. I love getting a lot of things in a video game, man. Nice. Very cool. Actually got all the cards there. It did it again! I swear the music just went like... I'm just a little sausage. Don't eat me, please! I'm just a little bug. Don't eat me, please! There's a bottle there. Sneaky little bottle. Oh, no. Okay, the timers. The timers will help me. And these dickheads. <laughs> this whole part was like a huge pain in the ass for Peppino, and now I feel like, it, as the noise, it's really not a big issue. Oh god. That's a little tight. Oh wait, but I still gotta get the fucking... Not looking good. Damn. Oh man, that's uh... Let me just like... Let's just like run through this part. <laughs> really, I mean, it's, it's all just because I uh... Fucked up, I forgot and went back. Yeah, just gotta remember that... I, I was thinking too much about, ah, it's so nice that the rat is gone. You're not dead. Christ, you are extremely fucking selfish, die. Piss my pants, piss my pants, piss my pants. Bring in more time. Works too. Wow, that's even faster, actually. <laughs> I wasn't worried for a second. Not one second. Okay, so what I'm also gonna do here is I'm gonna leave some rats alive. Oh fuck! I'm an idiot yet again. 
leave that rat alive, I think, will be good for P. I also don't need the sausage for the treasure. That is true. Because the rat is already dead. I didn't even think about that. Should save a little bit of time at least. That is a pretty solid strategy for a scrub like me. That rat looked very skeptical. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bad. No card achievement for you, bub. Uh, rat. I, I see what that chatter meant about this being a difficult uh, P rank for this fucker. Sorry. Set a curse. Oh, I'm about to say more curses. I tell you what. I'm about to say what my grandpa referred to as boat words. Words that he would utter while operating his boat. Those, I think, are... They're refilling my meter, but they're not actually counting towards combo. Which is fair. That was a bit of a waste. Jeez, I didn't, uh... I didn't miss it, did I? No. Let's just go. Let's go. Okay. Get the don't. Hey, don't. And I just gotta remember to go in the one door that's open later when we see. Well, not that door. This door. Jam. Oh, it's you. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. Victory is happening. Okay. Now I think we're good to just run, right? Run and do lap two. I think. Oh, God. Got all the cards. Cool. My lovely bell. No, that's real bad. That's real fucking bad. Thank you, horse. Thank you, based horse. Save my fucking neck. Please go down. I'm really slamming my fucking face into every surface I see. Such a god gamer right here. Horse.
Yes! I got the bottle Chivo. And a hundred combo. Woo! And that's the whole floor, baby. No boss yet, though. We gotta fight the Vigilante, who I think is going to be easier than he was on Pepino. And I actually did get the, uh... The Chivos for that, too. Somebody said these enemies placements honestly make no- or made no fucking sense as Pepino. Are you talking about that one part where you're kinda going down and, like, snaking around and there's all those fans and all those, uh, gun guys? I think I might know the exact portion that you're talking about, being, like, stupid. It, and I agree. Alright. Because I kind of know how to, like, stunlock this guy, more or less. Uh... I'm sure he'll still summon bullshit, but... Well, there's a good start. Oh, okay, he only shoots two. So now you kind of... Yuck bombs at him while he's sliming across the stage. Yeah. It's kind of unreal how much you can cheese him. Which is obviously very funny because he himself is cheese. I think we can all agree that's basically comedy gold. If you wait just the perfect amount of time. Wow. Yeah, you ghosty goo. I actually don't really know what to do about you, okay? probably still gonna, you know, occasionally have to actually deal with one of his moves. <laughs> the cow, like, explode into stakes? Does he always do that? I feel like I've never seen that animation, but I feel like I've destroyed the cow before. Let my poop, bro. It is. Why are you cleaning it? I'm just gonna poop on it again. I got hurt. Damn it! I was trying to toss a bomb like that. It really, this really is disgusting. It's like you basically toss the first bomb right as he mobilizes again. Okay. More or less, it depends on how far across the screen he is. Gee whiz. Gee whiz. Yet another boss theme that just goes unbelievably hard. Let's just do a practice run on this guy, I think. Uh, rather than being reset Andy too much here. Is it even possible to S-rank a boss? Must be, right? <laughs> Fuck you, buddy. I think the cows are exploding into meat, basically. Alright. So, ostensibly, I should get Ness here. It's when you take one or two hits. Fuck you, buddy. Let's just see. Okay. Is there a- is there an errant pixel above his head? Oh my god. Guys. Loose pixel spotted. I believe it's co covered by the, uh, letters or by the numbers there. But did you guys see that? That's fucked up. That's some Deltarune bullshit. 
unfucking playable Oh yeah, somebody said the wanted poster is different. It's it's the noise. He's looking for me. It's the noise. This is just stupid. Damn it. Still does moves. He still got attacks. Just, uh, most of the time he's gonna be sitting there taking damage. Kinda breaks the fight, honestly, but that's fine. I don't really care, it feels like, uh... Game balance was not, like, at the exact forefront of their minds when they were making this. And that's fine. It's honestly a little bit based, I think. That really didn't hit you, buddy? There you go. The song also has very Wario sounding uh, sound fonts. I can't imitate that. I was throwing a bomb, cock. <laughs> Somebody said, You never let him walk around in his big boots. Frowny face. I'm sorry. You guys seen? There's, there's like, we were talking about how these characters, uh, Vigilante and Pepperman, had like. They kind of had unfinished, uh, work-in-progress player character, uh, sprites. And the Vigilante's run sprite is he just gets out those fucking cowboy boots. And it looks really goofy. I love my checkered bombs, they're very cool. The thing about this boss as Pepino is, it's- it's no fucking joke. Like, I remember this being one of the most difficult things to P-rank as Pepino, actually. Just on a personal level. See those cowboy cutouts. Are there to fuck with my plan, my steez, and these ghosts? Wow, that is fucking absurd. <laughs> that is very, very stupid and weird, and I love it. I guess you could say I cheese the cheese. Uh, oh yeah. I feel no, I feel nothing. I feel no sympathy. I feel no guilt. He deserved everything. You guys ever think about how the noise is wearing like footy pajamas? Like, this is a onesie. This is a one-piece suit, basically. What a- what a way to go about dripping yourself out, you know? <sighs> Should I just do Gnome Forest? Get it out of the way? There's the, uh, the goblins that wave to you because they're your friend, because they're the same kind of, they're the same kind of scum fuck little guy as the noise. Whatever species he is. And then the noise, like the scumbag that he is, betrayal kills them. Eh, that was stupid. No reason to pick that up, it's like unavoidable on the escape anyway. That's just the treasure. Monkey. 
Oh. Huh. How about that? You know what I'm really kind of worried about here is the, uh, the last secret in this stage. In fact, was there a tomato back there that I missed? Now it's a pineapple. Pinyap. Cool. Bruh. Maybe just don't even kill this shit. Just don't even grab that stuff. It's, that's where the lap 2 portal is. It's one of the weirdest locations of lap 2 portal in the game, too. Haha! <laughs> the hitbox was still active. Stupid. I tried to, like, wait for him to move. Okay, I'm just gonna leave that. Actually, was this a bad idea? No. Is this, uh, like, custom music, too, for this part? For when you're at here as the noise? Oh god, I'm gonna lose my combo. Fuck. Nice, good job. Now you may be thinking, where even is the combo meter here? And uh, that's a good question, and the answer is that it's invisible. It's still there, but it invisibly ticks down. Which can be a little fucky, in my opinion. My opinion, yep. I, I am- I feel like if you don't drain combo in there, it's like been patched. Because I extremely distinctly- okay, they did patch it, okay. Because I was like, I extremely distinctly remember losing combo in there. That- Man, did I miss anything yet? I feel empty. I feel empty inside. Destroyed. Call me the home wrecker. Those little cucumber enemies are the, uh... The, the guys that Jabroni Mike says, uh, make a... Dick-sucking sound. A sloppy toppy noise. He says they go like... <laughs> even though it's actually like... <laughs> an electricity sound, of course. But I can't unhear that. <laughs> well, I skipped out on that other thing, again. Like a dringus, but I will live with my mistakes. Hey, fuck you. You are not exempt from the death. Let's just leave that guy there. Leave all these guys here. A little snack for later. So really, I can just goof around in here. And be totally fine. That's nuts. Good on them for fixing that, because that was kind of a jank interaction before. Please. Same mistake I made last time. Let's just go ahead and kill these fuckers. Because I think we have enough time to do so. Fuck. 
There's also that stupid achievement, uh, <laughs> where you have to, uh, break all the wooden blocks in this level. That's like one of the dumbest achievements in the whole damn game. I don't really understand why that's here. Let's just grab all that. <laughs> so this is a level that, uh, is kind of infamous for how difficult it is to P-rank, or how, you know, it used to be worse. They patched not only the, uh, Gustavo room issue, but, uh, just a sort of, kind of an error in level design, almost, uh, what a lot of people perceived as an error. Uh, but it's, it's still a bit of a bitch. It's kind of an unorthodox level in a lot of ways. Whatever. I need the cheese. I love that they just wave. Especially because those enemies are a fucking annoying pain in the ass. Nice. That's a great guy to use Super Taunt on. Holy shit. Never even thought about doing that, but that is, like, best use of Super Taunt in the whole damn game. Because that guy is so annoying to actually kill. Okay... Missing a lot of optional points here. Am I, uh... Am I good? I'm, like, kind of periodically checking chat just to make sure that I'm not, like, missing something. Not that I necessarily am expecting people to, like, tell me if I have missed something. House destroyed. Here's another secret. Oh, God. Oh, God. Wait, please. That was bad. Didn't mean to do that second to, or that last turn around there at all. Every time I need to use the crusher, it, uh, it's, it's one of those, like, Sekiro moments where, like, I need, like, one or two fucking entire seconds to, uh, register what the input is, basically. You could have saved it. I, well, I mean, I could have not done it. Coulda, shoulda, woulda only gets you so far. Every mistake could have been avoided. I always default to, just because it's the Peppino, uh... Muscle memory. I always default to the fucking uppercut rather than Crusher. Even though the Crusher was the same controls as Gustavo as it is with the noise, right, I think. Always gonna be doing that. Every time, every time. lag there. Do you guys see it just drop frame hardcore? Let's go ahead and deuce this deuce. Let's cook his goose. Boys, kill him with hammers. Let's 
somehow didn't get hit. Not gonna argue it. Just gonna take the dub. I think you're just gonna get off scot-free here. My name's not even Scott. Hoping that I will be able to build up combo meter for the uh, annoying treasure guy. Those guys give you... I don't know, do they really give you that much more than a normal enemy, I guess? Shit. Damn it. Whatever. Not worth it. They give you, like, an amount that is nothing to sneeze at, for sure, but... Probably won't end up being the deciding factor of a uh, P rank. By the way, guys, very sad this morning because Shu was like making all sorts of little sad noises. It was very uh, distressing and you know for me and for him. So send all your love and good feelings to Shu because for whatever reason this morning he's uh, he's just he was just making a lot of little sort of whiny noises and I'm not I'm not trying to say that are oh, you whiny baby. I'm not trying to say that in a bad way, but literally a whine, like, it's very sad. Okay. Oh! Ah! <laughs> okay. It's fine, everything's fine. So, you know, when it, when I got up and Shu was kind of going, <laughs> like, over and over again. Sometimes he does it, like, a couple of times when he wakes up and we just figure, oh, he just had a nightmare or something. But... Ooh, please, I tried so hard to do my super taunt. Why didn't it come out, man? Why didn't it come out? The second I set foot in that room, I was super taunting. So he was he was kind of making those little noises and normally my response is go kind of like turn on the light and give him little scritches and uh, you know tell him it's gonna be okay and I usually give him like a little treat of some sort give him his hay cube or give him a, a Cheerio or something and that usually gets him out of the funk but today he just kept he kept going he just I was trying my darndest to uh, appease him. But, uh, it, it, to no avail. I mean, now he's fine. I mean, I, I wouldn't have started streaming if he was still distressed, but, uh... I, I hope whatever's ailing him is only a, a temporary thing or something. Chinchilla eat Cheerios? Uh, they can. It's It's been recommended to us uh, as chinchilla owners as just kind of like an empty snack that they think is tasty but that isn't going to make them uh, fat necessarily and, and and we don't feed them a lot of Cheerios we feed them like a tiny bit like one Cheerio in a day you know along with his typical nutritional pellets because uh, they have really delicate constitutions and so, it can be tough to figure out the dietary needs of chinchilla. You saw the little second I had to take to remember what button it is to do the, the slam.
That fencer guy seems lost. Why is he here? Who put him here? You're supposed to be in fucking like pizza scape and shit. An ancient cheese. What are you doing hanging out with the duendes, dude? Fuck. Fuck you, buddy. But, uh, I gave him a- I gave him a big ol' flower bud that he loves to chomp on, and it took him a little second. Again, all, all this stuff is concerning. It, it, normally, it's like, if you give him a treat, even if he's, you know, making sad noises, he'll eat the treat and then he will be happy. So, it was kind of scary to, uh, see him not be happy for an extended period of time. But now he's back to sleep, and, uh... Hopefully this won't be a lasting thing. Mm -hmm. Damn you. <laughs> Those guys are so annoying. Poor baby, my thoughts exactly. My thoughts exactly. We can only pray for his, uh, his well-being. There have been several times where he'll, like, eat something. Like, he'll take a little nibble of, like, plastic that he, like, got in reach of his cage or something. And, uh... Then I'll, I'm always like, oh god. That whole night I'm just, like, freaking out because I'm like, is he gonna just fucking die? But it seems like, uh... He can handle the occasional nibble of something he's not really supposed to eat. Like one time he ate a little bit of, uh, there's a shelf like next to his cage that we try to keep, you know, out of reach, but he got a hold of some stickers and ate some like sticker paper before we realized what was going on and, uh, that was, that was the, that was the big shoe scare for me, but then he was fucking fine, so it didn't really seem to matter to him. They can have a little bit of plastic as a treat. Yeah. He thinks everything is so tasty. So fucking tasty. I like that pizza sona. It's very good. Seems relaxed and easygoing. It's probably not necessary to do any of this shit where I'm like backtracking for extra points. But here I am doing it anyway. Something that you kind of learn how to do over the course of playing this game uh, somewhat seriously is uh, that certain enemies have weapons, like those fencer guys and like the uh, fork knights. You sort of learn how to grab over their weapons a little bit. Where it's just if you grab them kind of precisely from above, you can just sneak past their weapon hitbox. Kind of Zelda 2-esque, in a way. Arr! Nice. That's actually pretty cool. Damn it. That's fine. Use the super taunt. That's such a good uh, workaround. Oh, cock. And then that guy always gives me a nice scare. <laughs> that was stupid looking. Okay, you guys suck.
That was weird, but I'll take it. What the fuck even happened there? Pretty close to John at this point. Nice. Get the nerd cheese. <sighs> Here's the, uh... You know, this part really wouldn't have been as hard as the noise, too, but... The famous combo drop part, where they added stuff to make it easier. Okay, uh, am I doing good? Am I- I think I'm doing good. We get a couple toppings on the way back. Uh. No, wait, shit. Yeah! There's a secret and toppins on the way out that we need to uh, keep a watch out for. Be on the lookout! That's not... For a second I thought that was the uh, treasure, but it was not. Noise! Back to that noise. Yeah. Pizza Tower or Celeste better? God, I don't fucking know. Do I have to pick? Why don't you make me pick between my own two damn children? You know? Oh, this is scary. Let's grab that. They're both excellent. Oh god. Uh, just super jump. All the way. Yes! Ah! Oh, I'm not gonna be able to get score, though. Oh, fuck. No, it really- that was like frame perfect, man. Very disturbing. Very icky, no good. Grab these. And th there was like an enemy in the other room that I could have uh, used as well, but I just... I was already on the way, you know? Oh yeah, do the second lap before that secret. That's such a... Uh, that's so true. Th I'm sorry. Does that say shit? Do those roots down there, they kind of look like they say shit, don't they? Huh. Because, like, literally the way it's, like, this is a level with a very, very strange lap 2 portal placement. They're usually, like, in the same room as the, uh, exit door. But here it's, like, two rooms away. Which makes it so that you can do stuff that you kind of wouldn't do on other levels. Ah! Uh. You will die now. You will die now. I went through all that trouble. Yeah, there was a bunch of shit that I could have used to maintain my combo there, but... So uh, sometimes you sort of... 
get a bad idea in your head in this game, because it seems like hesitancy will only lead you to further despair. Damn it, man. I'm really trying to, like, skid well before that ledge. Lamau. Skid. to do that shit, man. We'll get it on the way back, potentially. I actually don't know if this is a part that you go through on the return. But it's, it's just really not that important to get every single kill. How do you guys like that bridge, huh? Cool Francis Scott Key bridge collapse. How, like, this freak accident happened, and everyone. This is just one of those things, like, uh, do you shampoo your legs in the shower? Where it's like everybody has to drop what they're doing and give a take on, on what happened. Why do we all, everybody needs to give their take on the a boat crashing into a bridge. Sir, you have to pre you're a pre very prolific, amazing surgeon. You gotta perform cool brain surgery. Not right now. A bridge just crashed into- a, a boat just crashed into a bridge, and I need to make this political on Twitter. I need to give my opinion on how this was caused, and how the things I don't like in the world are why that boat crashed into that bridge. The brain surgery can wait. Very fun, very cool. No, you die now. No, you die now. You guys remember the fucking stupid cleaning lady family guy bit? Man. Is that's like gotta be up there with Borat and like Donald Trump in terms of like every white guy has attempted to do that voice at some point. You know? Most imitated voices of all time. That and, uh, do you guys remember... Maybe this was just something specific, like I had a friend who was really into this guy and it, like, annoyed me a lot. Do you guys ever know any people who thought that Jeff Dunham was, like, the funniest guy to ever exist? The puppeteer? This is a really specific, like, hate campaign that I'm about to go on, but... Any of you guys ever have that? I'm, I'm thankfully seeing a lot of people say, who the hell is that? And then also a lot of people saying, yeah, fuck that guy. He was this guy who was like a puppeteer, he was like a ventriloquist act. I don't know how he got his start, if it was like fucking America's Got Talent or something. It's, he kind of seemed like a talent show winner. But, uh, his famous character was Ahmed the Dead Terrorist. And he would say, I kill you! In this very stereotypical, like, Arab accent. And that was like his big joke. Was Ahmed the Dead Terrorist saying, I kill you. It's an extremely Bush-era joke. <laughs> like, unbelievably so. Thank you, fairy rat. And man, in like, elementary school and junior high, I knew some people who just could not stop themselves quoting that. All the fucking time. 
And I don't mean to judge anybody. I'm sure I was into some, like, cringe fucking humor back then, too. I loved Crazy Frog, you know, but, uh... God damn, that was hard to bear. <laughs> Especially, and, like, it wasn't even coming from, like, as a kid. My hatred of this wasn't really coming from a place of, like you know, political consciousness or respect for other human beings and cultures, it was kind of just annoying and not funny. It wasn't even that it was horribly politically incorrect or incorrect. It was kind of just that it sucked and was a lame joke all around. Ooh. No. Crazy Frog goes hard. Uh, it certainly went hard to my uh, extremely immature brain. Okay. We're doing this. It's a little nerve wracking to have that secret be at the absolute end of everything. He can't go hard anymore. They cut his dick off. I like the implication that it wasn't a creative decision to censor the obvious penis on Crazy Frog, but instead they- the character got, like, fucking- what do you call that, uh... Oh, what am I- what is the term for getting your dick cut off? Castrated. Man, that would've been super funny if I had had that word just at my fingertips, don't you think? Okay, I'm a little nervous about this secret. In fact, I'm very nervous. In fact, I'm sweating the hell out right now. P. Instant P. That was stupid. Please, yes. Oh, yeah. Post op, Crazy Frog. Crazy Frog got bottom surgery. No, I mean, it wasn't changed, it was just removed. Alright, that's another tough one, I think, out of the way. Doys. You know what? Uh. I'm gonna take the free P that they gave me. I'm gonna say fuck you. <laughs> well, for this one, uh, we, we literally do not have to worry about Primo Berg. Just as long as we keep combo, Primo Berg is meaningless. I think I'm seeing a lot of love for this level in chat, and it's so that's so real. It is such a fucking great level. This is a a good example of like gimmick level, I think, done right. Let's just knock him around a little bit more. Doesn't really matter. I will change the definition of what constitutes Primo Berg if I don't get Primo Berg, so... Who gives a shit? Nice. That thing started sniffing at just the right time. Primo Berg! God, the, the noise wheel looks very strange with this outfit. Look how well that whole part of the level just flows together too. It's so good. It. 
shit, why did I do that? <clears throat> I'm stupid. Damn. <laughs> Close. Or at least you might think it was close if you uh, aren't an experienced Pizza Tower player. I had it, you know, basically calculated down to the frame the whole time, but I can see how that might be sort of intricate gameplay that might be lost on, you know, plebeians. I feel like plebs has fallen out of fashion, hasn't it? I don't really hear people say plebeian anymore. And that's probably good. Dude, imagine if like the, the like trad guys got a hold of plebeian. Nobody tell the like traditional lifestyle fuckfaces about the word plebeian because I feel like if they figured it out, it, oh, it would be so annoying. It would be a new level of annoyance. They do say it a lot. I've, I feel like I've never seen that. The whole like traditionalist movement has been so, it's so embarrassing. I, I've never felt so much like secondhand embarrassment from a person. This is good. It's so funny too, I, I feel like I'm just like diametrically opposed because I was like already kind of hated the concept of like tradition just in general as like a rationale for why we should do things a certain way like 10 years ago, you know? And that was before we w the world was infested with a bunch of people who made it their entire personality. Or at least the internet, <laughs> I guess. I was already, like, so down on the concept. And then it got a thousand times worse. That was odd. Good thing Primo Berg is meaningless to me. Toss me. You fucker. Yeah, I know people, traditionalists, people who appeal to tradition. It's just a, a fallacy. It's just, hate to sound like a super fucking nerd here. <laughs> but, uh, it's just like wrong, basically. <laughs> Appealing to tradition in that sense. Go on, buddy. Oh, you fucker. God damn it. Because somebody, somebody in chat just said, like, what even is tradition? And that's a great point. That's a great question to ask that I think a lot of the people who have based their entire personalities around tradition have not even really given much thought to. We used to do it. That's all it means. Like, that is, that is a hundred percent of it. And I know none of you need to be lectured on this. But, uh, man, it just hurts to watch. It's like, in a, in a world where, like, I feel like history lessons are such, like, horror stories, too. Like, hearing about all the messed up shit that humans have done to each other in the past. And then hearing some people be like, yeah, I want to do this thing because it's what humans did to each other in the past. And you're just like, that's the only reason? That's your only point. I, dude, I'm sure everybody else gets these because they're so heavily fucking sponsored. There's this dude on Twitter called Liver King, who's like a super, like, this super fucking, uh, like, macho buff dude with like a huge beard and shit. 
and his whole bit is like eating raw meat. <laughs> have you guys seen this? From judging from your reactions in the chat, I'm I'm willing to bet that some of you have seen this guy. And it's like every post of his is him like sitting there going like they tried to cancel me because I eat raw meat and I live an all natural lifestyle or whatever. And then there's always it's it's a promoted post, so it has the little gold check mark that basically admits to everyone, yes, this guy paid to be on your Twitter feed. And there's always, without fail, a community note underneath it that goes, yeah, this guy dopes and uses steroids and shit, and it's been proven, and here's the proof. And he do he totally does not just eat raw meat. And it's fucking hilarious. It, but the sad thing, it's, it's hilarious mixed with sad, because you kind of just know that this- it's- he's- he's always gonna be there, basically, like... If nothing has been done about this fraudulent account up till now, do we really think that something is going to be done about it, you know? It's very depressing seeing how grifters and scammers and the like are just allowed to un unabashedly exist on that platform with very few repercussions. I mean, lest we- let's not even get into the fucking bots, right? Where, uh... It's like Elon Musk fucking bought Twitter and was like, Yeah, there's a real bot problem. And I have never, before he bought Twitter, I never, I think, ever once saw a bot. Or if I did, it was literally like a singular time in the many years that I used Twitter, you know? And then once he bought it, instantly... There are tons of bots, and they, they don't seem to want to go away. Gonna hope that works nice. So yeah, all the famous... the famous pussy in bio, but recently they've been evolving. Uh, if you'd like more, you know, if people want more proof of evolution, just watch it happening with the porn bots on Twitter. They don't really say pussy in bio anymore, but it took them a shockingly long time. It's like after months and months of uh, <laughs> getting these pussy in bio responses. It's like finally the scammers were like, duh, maybe we should change it, duh. And it's like everybody on the platform, it's like such a common joke and observation that these are all obviously bots. It's so fucked. Scammers make me so angry, man, and they should. I feel like they should make anyone angry. Why did I do, like, an extra little boost there off of that guy? That was kind of strange. It sucked. I, 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 like, double jumped off the enemy or something. Ah, uh, yes. Who even falls for the bots? Well, that's a great question, and the answer is... Grandma. You know, or Grandpa. Falls for the bots. And that's why they don't care that everybody knows that they're bots and scammers. They just don't give a shit, because they're just simply trying to cast as wide of a net as possible. Like, that's the scammer way. Okay... Ah... Uh, please, just die, God damn you. That secret, uh... is a little awkward. I should have probably held on to my super taunt a little bit longer. I mean, it's like, and it's like literally like the elderly, the infirm, the unintelligent, or people with special needs, you know, or people who, uh, or just simply uneducated people, you know, people who have lived in poverty and never went to school, never had certain life experiences that prepare them for scammers. They're preying on the weak, basically. In such an- it's such an awful fucking thing to do. And it's weird, I've- I've always heard that, like, part of the scam is the scams looking really obvious. Or at least, you know, maybe they're not doing that intentionally, but it's something that kind of- they're not eager to fix because it works in their favor. Because, uh... Essentially... 
you don't want anybody to try, like, you don't want to try to hook people who are going to realize that it's a scam. So by making it the most obvious scam of all time, you're basically filtering out all the people who might call you out for it or try to do something about it, and instead only the people who are, uh, as they say, clueless will be suckered in, basically. It's terrible. It's just like a shameless, it's just such a... The only word I can use to describe it is like, evil, you know? But, uh... Another, another aspect of it, of it is that a lot of scammers on the internet or on the phone are desperate, poor people themselves who have been suckered into working for a call center or something because they feel they have no other choice. You know, there's a reason that a lot of uh, scammers on the phone have Indian accents, for instance. Because uh, they're basically, a lot of people, young people, are bullied into taking these jobs. Sometimes literally, like, bullied into it by, like, criminal organizations, from what I've heard. So it's easy to be like, oh, you gotta be fucking subhuman, you know, you gotta have no moral code whatsoever to, uh, to scam someone, but... Unfortunately, the, the they are just a, a result of a wider problem. They're a symptom, basically. They're not... They're not the cause. But they still kind of suck. You gotta admit, they kind of suck. I remember there was a Reply All episode where, uh... One of the hosts... There's a podcast about internet-related things. Why does he do that extra little boost? That's so annoying. Uh... Eh, whatever. They did this show where, uh... One of the hosts got called by a scammer, and he was kind of like, you know what, I'm just gonna, like, try to figure out, like, all the information that I can about this guy and learn everything about the, like, call center that he works at and get, like, in really personal, like, cahoots with this fucking random Indian dude. And he did, and he ended up actually going to India for part of this, like, for reporting on this story, which is kind of mental. But something that he kind of heard from, uh one of the people who was trying to scam him, he, he was kind of arguing with them, and he was kind of like, you know, what what makes you feel like you can do this? It, like, doesn't this, doesn't this feel quite, like, immoral? Like, why are you okay with doing this to people? Tricking people out of their money, basically. And the guy kind of was like, yeah, you're, you're giving me that as an American, you know? Oh, fuck. Oh, it actually worked out. Nice. Which... Of course is kind of- is cope. Like, he he literally was like, you know, I know America as a country does horrible, horrible things, obviously. But, like, he was, like, talking to this individual guy and being like, Oh, yeah, I don't remember Americans, you know, caring so much about morals when they dropped the bomb on, like, Nagasaki and stuff like that. And the, the host guy was like, Yeah, so that happened about 40 years before I was born, so I really only had so much say about the Nagasaki bomb. But it's like, I'm sure they tell themselves all sorts of things, and they are told all sorts of things by their superiors to sort of justify that kind of behavior. <laughs> it sucks when there's, like, something that seems like such a black and white, like, good versus evil kind of issue, and then it turns out to be more nuanced. Doesn't that, doesn't that piss anyone else off? I know that's like a, a fucking caveman brain idea, but... Do you kind of know what I mean? Where it's like, ah, oh, goddammit, the inherent complexness of the universe makes it so that it's really hard to have just one specific thing to blame. Cool. It can't ever be simple. Ha -ha! 
that works. Actually, that was really weird, but it worked. <laughs> is that how this part is, like, supposed to work, actually? This part always felt kind of sloppy. I, I don't really understand what to do here. There, no. So what do I do? What, what do I fucking do? Do I just do a st This is something that was always an issue with Pepino too. is this one just feels like it's made wrong. Do I just do a straightforward shot? Let's do a straightforward and then an up, I guess. Okay. Oh god, no. Gotta remember that shit. The escape sequence is kind of the toughest part of this level, in a way. Cool. I wasted a ton of time on that one. Like, of course, when I make that sort of statement about, like, oh, you know, wouldn't it be nice if the world was just simple, good, and evil? It's got, I'm kind of saying that, like, in a sort of joking way, like, wouldn't it be easier on all of our consciousnesses and all of our minds to just have simple concepts like that? But, of course, I think it's good that the world is more nuanced. It's just also like, ah, oh, man, I can't be unintelligent about this, and that's so easy. Very good that those guys pause the timer when they're yucking you. Okay, and I do not have to play golf, I just need to sprint. Ooh. Which is kind of a double edged sword because uh, the golf ball is a good way to keep combo in a pinch. But it's also nice not being tied down to it. No rats. I think we should be good. Unless disaster strikes. Do you think a cosmic uh, ray will come and flip a bit for me? Just, you know, turn the P into like a D rank. Inexplicably. Yeah, I guess we'll get the spell, whatever. Any of you guys watch that video about the guy, like... He basically was, like, trying to debunk the Cosmic Rays thing. Oh my god, that actually just happened. Wow. Uh, trying to debunk the Cosmic Rays theory about that one Mario 64, like, race. And it was kind of unsatisfying because he never actually, I feel like it was a good enough video and I understood the point he was trying to make, but he never actually like debunked it. He basically just provided more likely alternatives, which is fine. But the whole like attitude of the video was like, oh, I'm gonna like prove this wrong. And then he never actually did. Sad. Not that it was a bad video or anything. And it kind of, like, e even if this wasn't the intent of the guy, it kind of made him just come across like a killjoy, <laughs> honestly. And this is coming from, like, the wettest blanket of a human being of all time. Like, you guys know how much I hate fun, right? And even I was like, come on, man. Not to rag on about one random video, but it's just a thing that was on my mind, I guess. It's like how the book Sharks Don't Get Cancer 
mentions that sh there are some sharks with cancer. <laughs> Does it feel like the, the grease ball is, like, bouncing up higher when I do it as the noise, or maybe that's just always been the case? Because he was, like, transcending the tears there of, uh... of that little puzzle, if that makes any sense at all. Like, he was going up and grabbing the top end that was, like, two layers above. It's always been like that, huh? Guess I just never noticed or happened to never hit it that way. Okay, well, that was quite the Omega Choke on that. But I'm not too bummed, because it's just fucking golf. Like, it's really not... It's not a big deal. If I was, if that Omega Choke had been on, like, Pizza Scare or something, or... Blood Sauce Dungeon, I might have been a little more... sad. But I like this level. I like playing it, and it's relatively easy to P-rank, so... Why cry? Oh. Thank you, sir. Uh, actually, that's gonna suck, because the nose... Nope. Nose did not suck it back in that time. The noses go through, like, this little cooldown period where they can't suck for a while. I never have a period of time where I can't suck. Okay, so this guy, it, I think it's like when the noise is in wheel form, when he hits an enemy, he just goes launching upward in a way that Pepino does not. I heard about the wolves in Chernobyl that developed an immunity to cancer. That's very cool. I mean, I'd, I only know so much, and I'm sure that even the people researching said wolves only know so much. But, uh... Pretty cool! This secret, you just kind of need to be patient. There you go. Patient. Patient. <laughs> sure, I guess that works. Burr. Just get the fucking thing. There we go. Nice. That actually works out quite perfectly, I think. Oh, fuck, he's all the way over there. I got a glimpse of the little dude that, uh, throws you. And I was like, oh, there's the cheese ball. But then that wasn't him. Do you guys like how the little combo indicator has turned orange or yellow for, like, a frame here before going away? It's kind of neat. I was reading something today, or I saw some... Reading something. I saw some fucking random blip of fucking context-free information on the internet today. About, uh, Marie Curie. I think I had heard this before, too, that her... She famously died of radiation poisoning. Her and her husband. Actually, I believe her husband got hit by a bus, but he was very... He was very sick with radiation poisoning, or he would have died of it if he had not been hit by a bus. Uh... But her coffin is lined with, like, a foot of lead because her body is still radioactive to this day. Which is kind of intense. You got hit by a radioactive bus. <laughs> He's gonna turn into bus boy. One, one of my old science teachers, uh, who, who I will surely never forget, he was a great teacher. He used to always say, when he was talking about radiation stuff, whenever there was anything like, oh, you know, this would make you probably get die of radiation poisoning. He would always append a statement like that with, unless you get hit by a bus. That was, man, that guy was awesome. Mr. B, if you're out there, I love you, man. Did I ever tell you guys that I used to, like, uh... In high school, for whatever reason, or in junior high, rather, there was a period of time where I, like, got it in my head that it was really funny to just put up, like, signs everywhere. 
and just signs that say random shit. I think the funny, the one that I thought was the funniest was, uh, it just said, please do not read this sign. And this was something that to my fucking cringe junior high brain, I was like, <laughs> oh, that's the funniest thing ever. And so I, I would just make, I would print out these signs that just have like fucking like Times New Roman text on a white background and just tape them up around school just because I, I thought it was funny. And there was one time I remember like going online. This was around the same era of my life where I would go online and look for like prank ideas. Oh, what are some funny pranks? Oh, pranks to do in an elevator. And like, I never did any of these things, but I would just look up lists of them for some reason. And I looked at a thing that was like funny things to like put on a sign, you know? And one of them said, death to all juice, which is obviously in retrospect, this weird disguised anti-Semitic rhetoric <laughs> about killing Jewish people. But I just thought as a kid that it was just like random lol, banana, narwhal, bacon humor. So I typed that out on a sign. Death to all juice, like the drink juice. And I taped it up on my school wall. And I remember very distinctly, Mr. B, my science teacher, just looking at that, at that and going, wow, that's pretty dark, huh? <laughs> like he really didn't know how to like say it to me. And I, and I don't even remember how I responded, but I was just like, oh, just cause it's got the word death on it, I guess. If I ever met Mr. B again, I would want to like explain that whole situation because I wonder if he, if Mr. B to this day still would be like, oh yeah, Jacob, uh, yeah, he seemed like a pretty good kid, but uh, pretty sure he was like anti-Semitic or something. <laughs> so I desperately to this day, it was one of those things where it was just like, you know, when it happened, it was just like, oh, that was a strange little interaction. I don't know why he said that. And then like looking back on it as an adult, I was like, oh. <laughs> I see now. I now understand. Hmm. So sorry if anybody went to uh, Leota Junior High and saw a sign that might have appeared to call for the death of their uh, people. I didn't mean to do that. I mean, it said juice. It didn't say Jews. It said juice. But it's a pretty, uh, yeah, that is pretty dark. Agree, Mr. B. Big agree. And no, I did not just dox Mr. B. I was really trying to avoid that. I think it's fucked, but let's just try. Maybe I left an enemy alive or something. I don't know. No. I did not just dox Mr. B, he does not work at that school anymore. Your school has a solid 2.9 star review. What do you mean it's school has a review? What? Of course it's going to have a low rating, it's a school. The, uh, oh, you know, I was just about to say the luck that we've been getting on these hamburger guys has been crazy, but actually they, they patched it so the hamburger guys always hit it away from you. Used to be random.
<laughs> I swear I just don't remember it even ever used to having used to do have used to having do done that. Cruelty scribe. Fuck you. That guy always fucking hurts me and I'm sick of it. It's one of those things that was never a problem as Pepino. I could do the burger skip, but I kind of don't feel like doing it. it uh, it's a little tricky to set up without losing your combo, and uh, I kind of don't want to run the risk of not getting enough points. I think the timer on this level is not really uh, much of an issue, frankly. I don't know why I did it like that, but I did. I wish being in ball form just broke that, but whatever. Just run back and forth. Wake them all up. Ba -ba -da -ba -bo. Burgers. Burgers. Okay. Primo Berg! Yeah! Hey, yeah! Shit. It's fine, just grab Jerome. Where's the ball? It's up there. Okay. Oh god. <laughs> Just get stuck in the nose. There we go. Turn it on! Ooh, ah. That's jam. Ooh. Thankfully, I was collecting clocks when I was getting, uh, right after I got hurt, so it kind of worked out. Okay, let's do one forward, one up. It's just like if you don't arrive there with fucking P-speed, you know. You need a strategy for how to do that bit. Okay, jump over this guy. <sighs> Don't fuck up getting the treasure rat. I hope my little rat is okay. He's just having a nice little sleep now. He had a bit of his he had a bit of his hay cube and he had a nice little flower. That was so tasty. Oh so tasty. I feel like I'm really only going to worry about points too much uh, on the second lap. Because again, I think we'll be fine. I think that is not the, the danger. That's the guy that took it from me. Literally like one of the last enemies in the fucking level. Okay, did I, uh... Did I get everything? Am I... Are we P? I think we might be P. I missed the fry course toppin'. Oh, well, as we all know, toppins aren't required, so we could probably still, uh... 
snag it. We could probably still get this one. We're pretty close to S rank score. This one part of the song has such an emotional, like, effect on me, because I associate it with that just, like, soaring feeling of adrenaline. P! I saw it! I saw it for a second there! It's like that incredible fucking feeling of adrenaline you get when you're just about to finish a P rank in the last few stretches of the, uh, level. It, like, elicits a Pavlovian response in me, basically. Oh no, wait. Bell, thank you for saving me. Phew! Okay. Omega Choke didn't waste too much time. There's the, uh, there's the missing one top in, uh, P-Rank. It actually happened. I didn't even mean to do it. I must have just walked right past the fucking top and didn't I? Like, none of the top ends are necessarily hidden in that level. Remember to not take too many breaks. Keep playing! Your time here is limited. That's one of the best fucking lines of text in the game. Ah, right, uh... A bap! A bap! Ooh, how are we doing for time? I've been going for two and a half. I did the secret and then left the fry course without doing Primo Berg. Oh! <sighs> nice. Uh... Hmm. I I'm thinking I'm, I'm gonna sign off, actually. I think, I think I'm done for today. We got a few of them. We got a few of the- we got fucking Gnome Forest, which is a, uh, a real bitch. A real fucking hard one, and, you know, the saloon wasn't too easy either, uh... I feel accomplished. Uh... And next time, uh, we'll do... We'll do some more, obviously. I love doing this. It just looks great. Uh... The thing is, I'm, I'm like, umming and awing over this because I fucking love playing this game, and I'm, it's really hard to tear myself away, but I should. I should go do other things. Uh, so, hope you guys got a kick out of it. Uh, I think... I, what I'm seeing here is, that like, the last couple of toppings that I need to... I heard that, like... I think you get an outfit if you, like, give all the money to... the remaining money to Noisette. And I think people were saying something, like, funny happens, so I'm kind of looking forward to that. Uh, but we'll just do that as it happens naturally. I won't, I won't rush into that. Hope Shu feels better. I, I appreciate that. Shu appreciates that. I think he's, right now he seems cozy, you know? Uh... Let's, I'm going to, like, YouTube try to look for people to raid. What is wrong with me? Uh, Mike is watching Killer Bean. Lark is doing more Minecraft. Let's go raid Lark. I feel like, as a rule, if Lark is streaming, we go raid Lark. How many viewers we got right now? Uh, I don't have the, like, little window. Twitch stats. I'm kind of curious how many we got. 316. Pizza Tower always gets a lot of viewers. People love this game, and rightfully so. Uh, so let's... Let's go raid Lark. Slash raid... At... Lark. Go have fun, uh, watching him do all sorts of crazy shit with, uh... Famous people in Minecraft. I think he played Minecraft or something with, uh... Or, no, he played Lethal Company with the Game Grumps, too. I don't know what the fuck Lark's doing, but he's moving on up in the world. I'm proud of him. I'm happy. Uh... So hope you got a kick out of the stream. Hope you enjoyed my, uh, juice story. Uh... You know, I don't think I've ever told anybody about that, and it, it felt good to get that off my chest, actually. Alright, let's go raid. See you later.